Good morning. We are back at the pool deck job that we were doing yesterday. Jose and Alfredo are here today. And we're gonna finish cleaning up that coping. And um, we got all the coping chipped out of there, but we just need to grind some stuff down and work on a little bit of stuff. And then we're gonna start leveling that out i got some mortar to level the low areas and then i got some thin set so they can start working on thin setting the new coping Two yards? That's it? Yeah. You want to bring it to the Oh, you want to sell it to the Two fifty. It's up to you. I mean, if we get two fifty, I think oh, yeah. I think you'd want the the Whatever it is, uh, total. Yeah. How much we need? Because I wouldn't get the master rock. Because sometimes they have bigger chunks. If I got two fifty, uh, I would get total landscape. Yeah. Because you don't need that kind of thing from this. From master rock. Yeah. yeah, right. It's just a... It's not a black, so... Yeah, exactly, yeah. At this point, Ethan and I are going to start working on getting this concrete square out so that we can slope the pool deck down to this existing walkway. So sadly, this concrete had a lot of wire mesh in it, so it didn't come out as easy as I wanted it to, but we got her done either way. We were just using the sludge hammer and the pickaxe because we don't own a jackhammer, and normally I'll always rent a jackhammer if we're actually busting out a bunch of concrete, but this was just a little square, so I thought we might as well just go ahead and take this on with the sludge hammer and the axe. Um, so we took a little bit of time on this because of the wire mesh. It was giving us a little bit of a pain, but you know how it is. Got to get it done either way.
So I'm guessing JH Diesel took the 100 grand. Cause I haven't seen nothing of the helicopter since. Oh, we've got most of it out, but of course the last part's the hardest. That's how it always goes. So while me and Ethan work on the concrete square tear out, Jose and Alfredo are starting to thin set the coping around the pool and the pavers will be thin set. Um, well, actually, the pavers will be sand set outside of the coping and then a thin set uh, border edge around the pool deck to secure everything in place. So that's how we're going out about this one. We're using thin pavers. It was all easy. I mean, there was some wire mesh in here, but most of the wire mesh, it's double right here on this edge. And there's a piece of rebar running through. But, I mean, whoever laid this rebar didn't do the best job because you can see it right there. And it is three inches under the slab. <laughs> no, I did it. Oh, Look right like here. a normal swig. No, oh, brother. <laughs> Just the mesh. Yep. That's her. So we finally got all that out of there. Cleaned up. So here we're just gonna fill it in with sand so that we can get the pavers to go from there to there. That was gonna be too low. And we can't just pick it up like we can these favorite walkways. So we're going to go ahead and clean up and Jose and Alfredo are going to stay and finish the bull nose. We'll probably have to do some tomorrow morning as well. And then we'll be back tomorrow to drop off some sand and the grout. But that is it for today. Good morning. So today we are going back to the pool deck that we've been working on. And today we should be starting to install some pavers. I also have to get some more coping because so many of the coping pieces were broke. There was 60 total that were broken in the pallet. So hopefully we can get them for free. And hopefully they're around here somewhere. So Ethan's not working with me today, so I have to, I got this loaded up, this dump truck with three yards of sand. I gotta take this to the job first, dump it, and then come back and get the truck with the trailer and bring it to the job, because I got concrete that I have to pour there. Oh, wrong key. And so, just gonna dump this when I get there to the job. Come back, get the work truck. Oh, come on. Sometimes this window can be a pain. Let's see if this one rolls out any easier. Oh, yeah. all that concrete that we took out yesterday we're gonna re-pour that concrete and just float it down to the level that we need it so and I'm just gonna mix that with bags and pour it so we'll see how that goes but we're gonna go ahead now and start heading to the job
ダンペイダンペイうん、oh, I love this truck a lot better than having a dump trailer dump trailer you got a plug in at night and then half the time it still doesn't want to dump this thing always dumps never had an issue with the dump So I'm back at the house after getting that load dumped and now I got to load this trailer with concrete bags I have 10 in here right now and I'm gonna go with 15 so I'm gonna get five more and then I have to go to Ruck Brick our local brick supplier and pick up 50 more pieces of coping that's all they have and we need 45 pieces I wanted to get 60 so that we had extra in case some of them break these coping have been breaking on us very easily so we're only gonna have five to spare so i gotta get this compactor out of here make some more room so that them coping pieces i can just sit right in the back there so finally got my coping that took forever they had to pick the order do a whole bunch of nonsense I don't even know what they were doing but it took about 40 I was at that place for 45 minutes a little ridiculous especially only for 50 pieces of coping So first thing I'm going to work on is forming up to pour concrete in that section that we demoed out. So while Jose finishes, Jose and Alfredo are going to continue to work on the coping. While uh, this other guy Carlos starts bringing in sand and I'm going to work on the concrete in the meantime. Where are we taking it? Where are you? Where are we going to put it right here? Yeah. Watch. Boom! Woo! Almost in the pool! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
So I got that slab poured, brought it down to the level that it needed to be at so that we can thin set the pavers right up next to that existing concrete walkway there. The other walkways are pavers so we can just raise them up but that one we had to slope it down to match that walkway. Alright so I now have to go get the dump truck and get some some more sand. We're running out of sand. Uh, just get it ready for the morning. It's already 4 o'clock right now so I gotta hurry up and get to the place before they close at 5.30 so I will see you guys in the morning. I think I should do right there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Put back. That. I didn't know if you were gonna grab that. Or not. Yeah, I almost forgot. And then I was like, dude, I swear they just filled all that with sand yesterday. They did. I had to find the holes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid I just finished grouting that. Yeah, but I think we gotta set that first before they do anything. Hmm? We gotta set that railing right there. No, he knows. I'm okay. Move that sand. No, we went. We went to work with you, right? Yeah, you don't need to do that yet. You got all of this you can do. You're starting over there anyway. <laughs> You what? I thought it was him as yesterday. What? This? The, we didn't put the railing in it. That's got to go here. You forgot to put it yesterday, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we got to cut a little slit, put it in, and re pour concrete on it. <laughs> Did you already put the feet on? This one's not coming out. Yeah. I tried to get it out. This foot was, the nut is completely broken. It's missing. Yeah, but that foot, you slipped that on there. Yeah, okay. Banged it on, yeah. Yeah. In there. But yeah, it's not a massive area. It's gonna go. I didn't have a chalk line or anything to like mark it out. But you want me to hold it and you stand back and look? Because it's kind of hard with the angles. I didn't. I was trying to think it didn't. I felt like I almost needed to pick it a little bit that way. Yeah. I feel like we we need to back up a little bit too though. I don't know if it's really that close. Uh maybe not that far back. There's a little bit up right there. Yeah, so like pull by like a really cut a square, twelve by twelve square. That should be it. Yeah, let me mark it. Two slits.
Uh, I don't think so. I think it'll be way too oh, much above. We're gonna need just something random to put under there. It'll be a sliver. I got this one if that don't work. Thin boy. That's level right there. Yeah, definitely go that way a little bit. Right there, it looks good. Um, I want to go get a rag and wipe this pole down before the concrete dries on it. All right, that is all we needed to do here today. Jose, Carlos, and Alfredo are gonna start uh, laying the pavers. <sighs> I have a small repair that I have to go do and Ethan has to go pick up some pavers from this lady's house who's getting rid of a little pad that she has. It's only like a quarter pallet of pavers. So once they get all the sand that they need out of the dump truck, Ethan can leave, go dump it, and then go to that lady's house. 